Welcome back. Today is Friday and we're so excited to continue our weekly segment. There's nothing to do in El Paso. Every week we will be featuring hidden gems in the borderland that prove that there in fact is something to do in El Paso. And this week I attended a woodworking class at the Woodworkers Club of El Paso. Take a look. Woodworkers Club of El Paso is a, well, it's been here since 1985. Anyone can become a member uh, as far as an adult is concerned. Uh, we do have a membership fee. We are open four days out of the week, and we have two monitors a daily, each of the, the, the classes here, to help the members in whatever they want to work on for safety purposes and everything else that is necessary for them to make their projects. What I like to do is show people how to use the equipment, give them, you know, a little background, help them out as much as possible. Okay, this is the table I want to make. Uh, it's going to be 32 inches high, 36 inches wide. The monitors would help you figure out the material that you need, the cuts that you would need to make, and they would assist you in, in doing that, and doing your cuts, assembling it, and then uh, taking it home and being proud of your project that you've assembled and made. We have donated 1,500 toys to Project Santa Claus that our members all volunteer one day out of the month in the evening. We come in here and we'll make about 125 to 150 toys in a night. So you're sort of like real life Santa's elves. Yes, and that's what uh, we came out in uh, Texas Monthly is the, the desert elves uh, per se. <laughs> you also have a very extensive library that covers pretty much everything. Yes, ma'am, uh, we do. Uh, we have any type of publication that has been made since about 1983 or 81. If you want to make a cabinet, or if you want to make a, a shelf for storing your tools and then your shop, own personal shop, or building your own shop, we have that information here for you to, to get from. And it's a 12 segments, segmented bowl. Most of us have a, a workshop at home, yeah. but uh, the love of it brings us to socialize. Correct. I make more toys than anything else. I'm making a uh, book holder for my daughter. Her birthday's coming up. And then I've made provisions for a cup for your glasses. And then I'll have a little tent. So when she finishes reading the book that day, she can just lay the book on top. This is the only shop of its type in being unique as far as from, Cali from Florida to California. It was about 11.30 and, and I was stepping outside and this gentleman came out and I could see that he was uh, walking with a cane and he showed me a cane head and he showed me a piece of wood. He says, can you help me? Can you put this together for me? So I looked at him and uh, he had a metal. He had a silver star, he had a brown star and he had a purple heart. He says, I'm a veteran and I need some help. He said, well, how much do I owe you? From one service member to another, uh, it's free because part of our job and part of the goal that we have is community service in El Paso. Just knock, knock on the, on the door, door and, and, and we'll, we'll teach you. Uh, we'll teach you. We'll, all you have to do is bring your ideas and the, the wood. That was so much fun. I actually got a little toy train. I forgot to bring it to the desk right now. It is so cute. I'll post it on my social media. Well, uh, now you can see there's definitely something to do here in El Paso. You can sign up for a membership at the Woodworkers Club. Just come see them at their shop. It's at 3228 Sacramento and ask to fill in an application. You will have to pay about $75 fee for the year, and that includes access to all of their tools and machines, and they have so many. Uh, also the library that you saw there and you also will get a discount uh, for materials as well. Super fun experience. It's also social club. A lot of veterans, people of all ages, all genders just come together and make really, really cool stuff out of wood. Would recommend 10 out of 10.